Hello, today we're going to do a video on 2013 Sportster. I'm going to do a slip-on install. Alright, now what we're going to do is with a half inch you will see two nuts on the bottom. Now we're going to remove the shield from the exhaust for the 5 16 socket. There's two of them in the rear and three in the front. We need to remove this chrome cover. I like to take a little penetrating oil and just spray them in here so we don't break them. And it makes it easier for you. I just did the front and the rear. You'll hear it, you'll feel it. Bend the back, nice and careful. Now with a half inch, quarter inch drive. Spray a little penetrating on these. Like I said, I usually do it. And then a little while later, I'll do my job. All we're gonna do is loosen these up. Get a little movement. Now with a 916, we wanna loosen up this hanger, exhaust hanger. To the side. All right, with the deep socket, 916th, we got to remove this exhaust. All right, that slides out of our way. Now, here is your exhaust gasket. Now, as you see what I'm doing, I'm just tapping on the elbow. Alright, this is the exhaust gasket. What you do is take a little screwdriver and work it patiently and it'll come out. Place this on the crossover. Uh, place this clamp back on here. Alright, we want to put this in here. Same thing. Small taps. All right. Try to line it up with this crossover. She's going. You gotta be patient. And this is why you loosen up this hardware. Everything is just floating. This is gonna get in your way, but patience. I wanna try to fit this over to this crossover. With slight taps. And you will see the lines on the exhaust from where it originally was. And that's it. All right, you don't gotta tighten it, but just start it off. Once we bolt everything together, we'll tighten it all up. Now 
now for these two that's underneath. Start everything by hand. You don't want to strip nothing. You don't want no problems. It really is simple as long as you take your time. Use penetrating oil and some common sense. And anybody can do this. The trick is just tapping it with the hammer, causing enough vibration to make it move along. You will see your mark. You can't miss it. You will see that mark, and that's where I will bring it back to. Now, I know I have everything in place. That's where I want it. That's where Holly had it. That's where I'll have it. Now, tighten up this one. Snap on gun really does the job. Now we'll take the half inch, tighten these up. Nice. Beautiful. Now to tighten up the exhaust with a half inch ratchet. Remember, we just loosened it up so we can move this. Do not take them all the way off. You'll create more work than you need. Hand tight. If we didn't take the shield off, we'd never be able to get to these bolts. Do not wrench these things down. Snug them up. Tighten this. Now we're going to put the rear shield on. Try to get it started. You'll feel when it's right. Slowly tighten the bottom, the top, and look at where it ends. This is important. You don't want it to be leaning on it because that will vibrate. First thing we're gonna do is remove the shield. There's three of them. One, two, three. All of a sudden you'll feel a click and you know you're done. Put it to the side. Same thing. Now we're going to remove this clamp. Which is right here. Same as the rear. 9 16 deep. Get that out of the way. go. Now we loosen up the exhaust. Half inch. Like I said, a little penetrating oil and you're good. this off, the crossover, the pipe you see there, and here's our exhaust gasket, let's be careful with that, take our hammer, little taps. Don't go crazy. You don't want to dent it up. 
with penetrating oil that's been placed in there and with slight taps with a small screwdriver and work it, twist, work it, twist, work it, twist. Go around the whole thing and before you know it, they'll come right out like that. Then I take this and you go over to your crossover and place it on there and mold it nice, nice. Now that will get its form back. Press it down and uh, you're good to go. Now here's your slip on that we're going to put on. Try to line this stuff up. you will see your original line right there. With slight taps. The idea is slight taps and work it. We want to line the crossover to the slip on. Almost. Remember. A little more. And there we go. Now we take a look, you can see you got about, there'll be a stain on this pipe. It looks pretty much like a quarter inch. Now we know this pipe is mounted, everything is done. So the only thing that's pretty much done. Now we take our exhaust clamp. Tighten that down. Now we move back to our exhaust studs. Half inch. Take notice. Same thing. Let's line it up and make it look right. Like I said, when you're tightening these, if it feels wrong, loosen it and go again. Sometimes these will not thread properly and you will break them. All right, we gotta make sure this sits on here nice. That's what I'm gonna like, right there. A little space right there, everything's nice. Now when you start it up, be conscious if you hear any vibrations, and if so, you know you gotta adjust that. All right, now we got everything done. Make sure you clean any oil, grease, fingerprints off this chrome exhaust. She's in neutral.